Instagram can be a huge part of your business. Who doesn't want a simple and effective way to market their business? And best of all, it's absolutely free. I'm gonna go over six tips on how you can grow your business on Instagram and at zero cost, 100%. Hi and welcome back. I'm Shannon and I help small businesses and creative entrepreneurs use social media to build a community, create an impact and increase their revenue. Tip number one, optimize your profile. Your bio is the very first thing that people see when they come and check out your Instagram account. It has to be perfect because it can make or break a follower wanting to follow you or just keep ignoring you. Instagram has become so searchable kind of like Google with keywords and hashtags that it's really important that if somebody is looking for something that has to do with your business or your brand, that your name pops up in the search box when they are looking for something. You can make this happen by using keywords significant to you in the name field. It's also really important that when people come over to check out your profile, they know exactly who you are, what your name is and what you do. An easy way to display this is just say, right in your bio, I am your name or your company, and I help, insert your target audience, with, insert their problem. What is it you're solving for them? What, are, what is it you're helping them with? What are you fixing for them? What's going to give them a reason to keep following you? Another important thing that you can add in your bio is direct them to your website. You can give them a call to action. You can direct them to your website. You, if you're having a sale, you can direct them there. If you have free resources that will help them, 100% direct them there. Anytime you give them a call to action, it basically invites them to stick around a little bit longer to see what you're all about. Tip number two, shareable content. There's two different ways that you can do this. And the first way is getting your audience to create content for you. The more that you have people creating content for you with your products or talking about anything that has to do with your brand, the more that your reach will increase because if they're talking to their audience and those people are not following you, they're still able to see your stuff and they come and check you out and then ideally they love you and then they follow you. A really strategic way to do this is to create your own hashtag and then create a challenge around it. For instance, if I was a surf shop, and I had branded sweaters or long sleeve tees, I would create a hashtag surf shop name, where are you now? Or here's where I am or some, some catchy little hashtag. And then what I would ask is that if anybody was wearing my long sleeve tee surfing anywhere in the world, whether it's Portugal, Fiji, Hawaii, to take a picture and be like, hey, here I am wearing my local awesome surf shop t-shirt. And then that way it is being free content for you that you can repost to your page, but also free advertising because other people are showing it to their community and their audience. This is really ideal if you have an online shop as well, because then if they really love what you have, they can come back to your page and they'll start shopping on your website. Creating a hashtag also really brings in a very community feel and it makes people encouraged to keep wanting to share what your brand is all about. So I highly recommend doing that. The second way you can create shareable content is to make sure you are providing massive value and not just like a list of what you can do or what you can cook for dinner, 30 meals in 30 minutes, but like go in depth. Why are they 30 meals in 30 minutes? Are these gluten-free meals that you can make in 30 minutes? Is this a month's worth of paleo meals that you can make in less than 30 minutes. So the more in depth you get and the more that you help your target audience, they're going to want to take whatever you put on your page and share it in their stories or on their page, which is again, more value and more shareable content. It's another way for you to grow absolutely free. Tip number three, make sure the content that you're creating is for your target audience. I recently did a video on how to connect with your target audience through your personal brand. Put the link right here, you can check it out. But knowing your audience and the message that you wanna get across to them is key in building your brand on Instagram. People connect with other people that they relate with. So if they relate with you, they feel like they're a part of your community. Your ideal customer will feel as if they belong in a part of your community immediately and they should get that feeling as soon as they go to your profile and check it out and see what's in your bio. Tip number four, we're going back to value. Every post that you do does not have to be value, but the valuable posts are what gets shared all the time 
and is giving back to your customers and is creating a much, much stronger bond within the community. Consistently showing up for your audience and providing in-depth, real deal, valuable content creates a, a better connection between you and your customer, but it also keeps them coming back to check on and see what, what did she post today or what did I miss that she posted last week that I could figure out. While it's really wonderful to be entertaining and inspirational and you should be those things as well, it's the valuable content that's really going to build your community and it's really going to strengthen the bond with them. Tip number five, you want to use Instagram's latest and greatest, their newest features. Anytime that Instagram comes out with a new feature, whether it's in stories or it has to do with live or Instagram rooms or reels, Instagram will reward whoever uses those things. They created them for a reason. They want to make sure that Everybody on the platform is using them. And if you start using them immediately, they're gonna reward you by showing your content to more people, which means that your reach is much, much broader and much bigger. Number six, hashtags. Are you using the hashtags? You should be. Hashtags aren't going to bring followers in, but what they are going to do is help people find you. And if you have valuable content and your bio is optimized, this will help them hit the follow button. Hashtags are basically like Google for Instagram. So if you go to your search box and you hashtag New England, you're going to see a ton of posts with information or that are 100% all about New England because they tag New England on it. So if you're planning a trip to Vermont in the fall, you could do hashtag Vermont or hashtag fall in New England or hashtag Yankee Magazine, which is all about New England. You're allowed up to 30 hashtags per post. People go back and forth whether or not to put it in the first comment or to put it in the caption. I have done both. I have many, many friends and many people in this industry who have done both. It makes no difference. Whatever is easiest and whatever makes you happy, that is where you put them. I highly recommend using at least 20 hashtags because the more hashtags you use, the more opportunity you have to be seen by your ideal customer using any of those specific hashtags when they're looking for information relevant to your brand. Just posting one hashtag will get you up to 12% more engagement. Now, Speaking of relevance as well, you need to research what your ideal customer is searching for hashtags versus what you automatically assume they could be searching for hashtags. If you are just throwing out random things that you think are relevant to your photo or your post or your reel or your video or your live, that's fine and that's great and you might catch some people, but if you do the research ahead of time and you see what language they're using, what are they Googling? Are there community hashtags? Are there trending hashtags? And you start to use those, you have a much better opportunity to get exactly who you want to get. Okay guys, those are my six tips for building your business on Instagram for free. And if you have used any of those tips, let me know. If you are even using Instagram for your business, let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for ways to build your personal gram on Instagram, make sure you check out this video right here and I will see you over there.